Is it supposed to storm later today? If I asked you this question, would your heart start to beat? Would your palms start to get sweaty? Well, never fear. Today, I'm here to help you. Hi, I'm Vanessa from speakenglishwithvanessa.com and today you are going to learn how to speak about the weather and you will practice speaking with me at the end of today's lesson. Like always, I've created a free PDF worksheet with all of the questions, answers, and vocabulary that we're gonna be talking about today, including the sample conversation so that you can practice it out loud and improve your English skills. You can click on the link in the description to download this free PDF worksheet today. All right, let's get started by talking about the most common questions and answers about the weather. This is an extremely common small talk conversation topic. We use these questions every day, so I want you to be able to use them comfortably yourself. Let's start. What's it like out there today? What's it like out there today? It's a sunny day, but the breeze is kind of chilly. This is a great question for asking what's the weather, but we are more likely to use this instead of what's the weather? What's it like out there today? Do you know if it's going to rain later? Yeah, I think it might, so grab an umbrella. Do you think it might rain later? I am personally always checking my weather app on my phone to see if it's going to rain, especially at this time of the year because I want to be prepared. A great question. Is it supposed to storm later? Yeah, we might have to reschedule our picnic. Is it supposed to storm? Now, usually we use this verb supposed to with a need. I'm supposed to pick up my kids from school every day at three o'clock. I have to do it. It's a requirement. But sometimes we use supposed to in these situations. Is it supposed to storm later? Just means, is it going to storm later? And it's a good question. Is it supposed to storm later? <laughs> have you checked the weather? Or have you checked the weather forecast? Yeah, I checked it and it looks like it's gonna be a nice day. Whew. If you've scheduled any outdoor activities, you always are going to be wanting to check the weather. This doesn't mean you go outside <laughs> and you look to see what the weather is. No, this generally means that you're checking a weather app or maybe the weather on your TV, the weather forecast. And we don't even need to say that word forecast. Have you checked the weather? What's the weather like where you live? For me, it is extremely unpredictable these days. Some days it's cold, some days it's rainy, and some days it's like a summer day. <laughs> What's the weather like where you live? What do you like to do when the weather's hot? Usually when the weather's hot, I like to be in the shade or in some water. Coming soon is summer, so I've started to think about those types of activities. What do you like to do when the weather's hot? What do you like to do when the weather is cold? <laughs> For me, I like to bundle up and go outside, take a nice walk, and then come back inside and drink some hot tea. What do you like to do when the weather is cold? And finally, a great small talk question is, isn't it a beautiful day today? And here it's kind of a rhetorical question. You're not really expecting them to say no or yes. Usually you're implying it's so beautiful, so you probably already agree. And you could respond to this question by saying, yes, this is a great spring day. Isn't it a beautiful day today? Yep, it's a great spring day. Now that we've talked about some common questions and their answers about the weather, let's talk about some common phrases that you could use to talk about the weather in your conversations. It's out, it's freezing out, it's gorgeous out, it's so hot out. <laughs> We're talking about outside here, but you can fill in the blank with a lot of different words. It's freezing out, make sure that you wear a coat. It's really coming down. What is coming down? <laughs> I love using this to talk about a huge rainstorm. When the rain is just explosive, you can use this. Oh wow, it's really coming down. Beautiful phrase. Bundle up or grab a, this is great to use in the winter time. In the winter, I like to bundle up with my big coat and go for a walk. But if it's rainy, I always try to grab an umbrella. We're talking about what you need to do 
to figure out how to survive extreme weather. Cold or rainy, you gotta bundle up or grab an umbrella. Wear layers. This is essential in the winter time. You need to make sure that you wear layers so that your body stays warm when it's cold outside and as the day progresses, you can feel cooler as the day gets warm. This is the unusual part about spring. In the mornings, it's chilly. In the afternoons, it's hot. So it's important to wear layers. You might wear a t-shirt, then a long sleeve shirt, then a sweater, then a coat. You're preparing for all seasons because sometimes the weather is just like that. Now, during the summer, you don't need to bundle up. You don't need to wear layers. In fact, you might say, it's a scorcher. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we use the word scorch to talk about food that you burnt. Oh, I scorched it. <laughs> but we can also use it to talk about extremely hot weather because when you walk outside and the sun is beating down, oh, you feel like you're getting burnt. You might actually be getting burnt. <laughs> so you might say, it's a scorcher. I need to put on some sunscreen. I'm a warm weather person or I'm a cold weather person. This is talking about your preference. What type of weather do you like? It might be the same as the place that you live in, or it might be very different. <laughs> For me, I'm a warm weather person. I love warm days, even hot days but when days are extremely cold, that's not for me. I'm not a cold weather person. I'm more a warm weather person. And finally, if it is a wonderful day outside, you can say it's a perfect spring day. It's a perfect fall day. Oh, it just makes you feel so good. It refreshes your spirit. You take a deep breath of fresh air outside and you can think oh, it's a perfect spring day. Enjoy it. All right, now that we've practiced some common questions and answers and some common vocabulary about the weather, now I want you to see a sample conversation about the weather. My husband and I are going to have a little chit chat using some of the questions and phrases that you just learned. I want you to watch this conversation and get ready because after our conversation, it's going to be your turn to have a conversation with me about the weather. All right, let's watch. Hey Dan, what's it like out there today? It's a nice sunny day out there, but it's supposed to rain later. Oh, have you checked the forecast? Yeah, I thought it was going to be sunny all week, but now it says it's going to rain later today and tomorrow. Oh, I'll grab a jacket and umbrella. This time of year, it can start coming down with almost no notice. That's a good idea. Don't want to get caught in the rain. Yeah, one time I was caught in a snowstorm without my winter coat. I'm a warm weather person, so that was not fun. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. Well, I'm gonna go grab a raincoat. Layers are always the way to go. That sounds good. Well, nice to see you. I'll see you around. See you later. All right, let's have a conversation together about the weather. I'm going to ask you a question and then I'm gonna pause. And while I pause, I want you to speak out loud, answer my question, and I'm going to be listening to you. No matter where you live around the world, I have magical teacher ears. I can hear you speaking. <laughs> so make sure that you speak out loud, answer my question, and you're welcome to go back and review this section as many times as you want. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. So tell me, are you a warm weather person or are you a cold weather person? I would love to know if I were visiting your city next month, what kind of weather should I plan for? Oh, that sounds great. Now tell me, what do you like to do when the weather's hot? Well, thank you for telling me. I hope that I can see you when I visit your city. Well, congratulations on learning how to speak about the weather today with me. And now I have a question for you. Let me know in the comments, what's it like out there today? 
tell me about the weather in your city, and we can read each other's comments to kind of travel figuratively around the world. Don't forget to download the free PDF worksheet with all of today's questions, answers, and vocabulary about the weather. Plus, in this worksheet is the sample conversation that you saw between my husband Dan and I and a little practice conversation so that you can continue practicing what you've learned in today's lesson. You can click on the link in the description to download that free PDF worksheet today. Well, thanks so much for learning English with me, and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. But wait, do you want more? I recommend watching this video next where you will learn how to speak about movies and TV shows in English. Plus you'll learn some great movie recommendations that I'd like to give to you. I'll see you there.